Welcome to Install 105 Setting Shelf IDs. The building block videos are targeted at NetApp and partner engineers as well as do-it-yourself customers. Always consult the most recent documentation before starting any work. In Install 104 we installed dish shelves into a cabinet. In this video we will assign shelf IDs to each shelf. Shelf ID Best Practices Although NetApp no longer sells the DS14 shelf, there are still thousands of them in use today. If you reinstall a DS14 shelf, it is important to know that they can only have a shelf ID of 1 through 6. You can connect a maximum of 6 shelves together to create a loop. Then you can need to create another loop of shelves using shelf IDs 1 through 6 and so on. SAS shelves work differently in that shelf IDs can range from 1 to 99. Note that shelf ID of 00 is reserved for storage controllers with internal drives like the FAS2000 and FAS2200 series. SAS shelves can be connected into groups of 10 shelves, called a shelf stack. Within a high availability pair of storage controllers, each shelf has a unique ID and gaps between shelf IDs are acceptable. In a multi-node cluster, you can have duplicate shelf IDs within the cluster because shelves can only connect to a single HA pair. This DS14 shelf has a shelf ID of 5 and we want to set it to 3. The first step is to turn the shelf off, which is why you need to set shelf IDs while the storage system is not running. The shelf ID is set using the switches in the back on the center plane of the chassis. Use a small object to press the buttons to move the ID forward or backward and then power the shelf on. If there is no ID or the ID is set to 0 or higher than 6, there's a problem. Try resetting the ID with the buttons again. This SAS shelf has an ID of 00 and we want to set it to 32. We remove the bezel to expose the small button. Press and hold the button until the first digit blinks on and off. Then press the button to increase the number then press and hold again until the second digit starts blinking and then press the button to increase the numbers again and then finally press and hold to set both numbers and replace the bezel the final step is to turn the shelf off and then back on again if the shelf ID remains blinking then the ID has not been set and data on tap will use the shelf serial number of the shelf to indicate a shelf problem. In this case the ID has taken. We recommend continuing on to the install 106 video to learn how to cable the disk shelves together.